So what is a short code? A short code is basically a piece of content that you can put anywhere on your site. Let's create a short code. We have to create the content first, and then we can use the short code that is associated with it. How do you do that? Well, let's get started. Let's say that I want to create an image here, and I'm going to duplicate that image, and I'm going to drag it over here. And let's say that I want a button right here, and I'm going to center it, and then inside of this child container that holds that button, I'm going to center it that way. All right, one picture there and another picture here. Lovely. And just for whatever purposes, this just, you know, make it look okay. Button color, we'll just make it blue. So this is the content that you want to show somewhere else on your site. And maybe you want to show that inside of maybe a tab or maybe inside of an accordion or a toggle or maybe even in the middle of a blog post you created in, I'm not going to call it Gutenberg, but I guess that's what it is, the WordPress version of the blog post. We'll get to that too. But for now, let me show you how to put it inside of an accordion. So let me drag and drop an accordion on there, ACC. There's an accordion. So I'm going to drop an accordion on the page. And you're like, well, where's the short code? All right, well, let's make the short code. I'm going to right click on this container and I'm going to say, save as template. And it's just going to save that section and put it in your saved templates. So we're going to save that and I'm just going to say special section and I'm going to save it and here are my templates and here is special section and you're like well where's the short code well let me click on the three dots well it's not here you can't get to the short code here so I'm going to close this window but it is in your saved templates so let's go to the dashboard and save templates okay let me do a hard refresh and there's our special section if you take a goosey gander all the way over here, there is a short code. So Elementor made a little short code that says this little piece of text represents what you built that special section. I'm going to copy that short code right here and I'm going to go back to our test page and inside of this accordion, let me open it back up again. Let me go and edit the accordion number one and we're going to come down here to this content. Notice we have two tabs, a visual tab and a text tab. We want to be in text mode. So I'm going to click the text tab, take this text out, and I'm going to put the short code in there. And you're like, well, wait a minute. It's just showing text. That's okay. I'm going to hit update and I'm going to do a hard refresh. Now on Windows, that's Control Shift R and on Mac, that's Command Shift R. I'm going to do a hard refresh of the page. And there is our accordion. Now I'm going to delete this section because we've saved our special section that we're going to drop in other widgets. So there's our accordion. Our accordion has the content. So what if we wanted to put this content in a tab? We can do that too. I'm going to go, it's the same exact thing. We want a tab. So yes, you're like, well, there's no place to put the short code. Well, there is a short code widget. There it is right there. And I'm going to drag and drop the short code widget right there. And it says, enter your short code. Fine and dandy. I'll plop it in there. And it renders it. Let's go back to our test page. And I want to go and grab a toggle. Mm -hmm. It works with toggles too. So I'll drag and drop a toggle on the page. And just like our accordion, I'll go to toggle number one. Again, make sure you're in text mode. Got to make sure I'm clicking the right thing. Text mode, paste our short code. Again, you have to save the page and do a hard refresh for the content to show up. So I'm going to do a hard refresh. And there inside of our toggle is our special section. Now you're saying, well, maybe I want to put this inside of a blog post. All right, let's do that. 
let's just create a new blog post, shall we? This is a new blog post. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to come in here, add some text. All right. And we put our text in there. And let's say in between these two paragraphs, that's where I want to put the short code. Insert before. Okay, there we go. And let me hit the plus sign and browse all. There's a short code. So I'm going to drag and drop that short code right there. And I hit paste. And I'm just going to hit publish. And let's view, preview that post. Desktop mode. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. And there is our blog post with an Elementor created short code. It's actually a section saved as a shortcode. So can you do that? Yes, you can. So I hope this helps you understand how to use shortcodes and the power of shortcodes.